everybody, J.M. Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym, but you all know that from this. And I am here with NPC competitor... James Anthony Smith. Okay, so fun fact is I met James, what, four years ago? Yeah, probably five years ago. Five. Yeah. At which, which, which one of Dave Lieberman's contests was it? Uh, Dave Lieberman's N NPC Natural Ohio. The Natural Ohio, the NPC Natural Ohio. Mm -hmm. He was the overall winner, and I had said everybody that won the overall if they wanted to drive over to Pittsburgh, I'd give them a free afternoon of training videos and everything else. And of everybody to one, only one person took me up on it. This guy. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah. People couldn't make an hour, hour and a half drive, but you did. Well, I'm from Pittsburgh, and, and you know, it's a big th deal here. Everybody uh, knows the Manions and the MPC, and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I'll be waiting out front for you. Yeah, <laughs> we were just, we were, he was just showing me some of the pictures from uh, back there. Uh, he just did some training, but. Boy, you look so different. Yeah, it was it was three years of three long years away from competing of putting some size on and eating and training heavy and uh, it's a long road back. But uh, like you said, don't call it a comeback. You know? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I saw that he was doing the MPC Clash last month, yep. and uh, you know was following him with everything. I've been following him the whole time, but to see him you know, getting back on stage and. Uh, and I, so I, I, that's what I did. I put him on a, I put him on a call. I put hashtag, don't call it a comeback, right? <laughs> I've been here for years. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so tell people, what were you doing in all that time? So it was a, it was a three-year period of just, you know, 2018 and 2021, just really growing up, uh, lear learning a lot of stuff about life, not just, you know, and stuff in the gym, but bodybuilding is bigger than just um, working out and, and eating and stuff. you got to have the mental game. And you got to be mature. You got to grow up and have accountability for yourself. And um, I learned a lot of things that three-year period about myself, about bodybuilding, about um, how you need to do things as a man and as a person. And um, I grew a lot, not just physically, right? You know, as a person. And you can ask my coach Derek Natcher that. Um, you know, we worked together for four years now, and he said the last two years. I mean, it's been not just physically, but the growth. That, you know, as a person, has been just incredible. Right. So, just want to say what's up, D. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so when did you decide and how did you decide to do the clash? So I wanted to do the border clash because of um, the promoter, first of all, Joe Pishkula. He, he promotes great contests with um, so much for the competitors. I mean, uh, he, they do so much for us and, and um, also the judges. That was probably the most important thing was um, Tyler was judging, uh, Sandy was judging, judges that are going to be at nationals who um, – I really wanted to get the feedback from right. about what I need to do to make sure at nationals I have a chance to win. Right. So I got their feedback from Tyler, from Sandy, and then also later Big Steve. And right. Now I know what I need to do for next year to. Yeah, you just saw Steve at the uh, the Pittsburgh, at right? the, the Pittsburgh. 2021 at NPC Pittsburgh that was just a couple of days ago. But what I thought was the most interesting thing that James told me was he talked to Tyler and to Steve a month apart and <laughs> talk about that because so, that's that people have this other misconception just yeah so tell them. so people have this misconception about politics and bodybuilding and in my opinion i think it's just an excuse um and the reason why i say that is because i talked to tyler uh, right after my show and then i just talked to big steve this weekend that's a month apart two totally separate separate places florida pennsylvania and steve looked at my photos and he literally gave me the same exact feedback that Tyler gave me right. a month so Steve ago. Steve didn't judge at the border clash. And no, Steve was not a judge. He was just there. going by the photos on NBC News Online. He looked at the photos and he said literally, quote unquote, the same thing Tyler said about a specific part of my body that I needed to improve on. And I was like, that just tells you right there. I mean, they look for the same things in every show, you know? Right. Yeah, because like we were saying, people say, oh, this and that. And I'm like, yeah, well, what the other hundred people? <laughs> Yeah. Why does it apply to them? It just applies to you because you didn't you, do what you expected. You have to take accountability on yourself and show up the best you that you can be right. and just let the, the cards fall as they may. If you do what you're supposed to do, the, the right thing will happen. Right. You know, but if you don't, if you cut corners, if you cheat on your diet, um, you're probably not going to win. So you're not going to stop at scoops on the way to the airport? No. <laughs> no. I'm, going the air I'm going straight to the airport after this. No. <laughs> scoops is the little ice cream store down the street. I've never, I've never been there. <laughs> Actually, I haven't either. I drive past, but I just figured I'd throw it out there. Yeah. It's all right. It was, it was a litmus test. See what yeah, you said. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now you're going to take some time off again. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna, I talked with my coach and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another year off um, till next April, just to make sure that those things that Tyler, Steve and Sandy asked me to work on, I really do work on those things and improve on those things, uh, fine tweaking, so that next year, um, hopefully I can go pro back home in Pittsburgh. Right. I would love to do that in Pittsburgh. It means a lot to me and my family. So um, going to take a couple shots at it. Definitely going to do North Americans in Pittsburgh and also probably going to do USA's out west. So. Now, people are watching this probably going, why are you taking a whole year? You're taking so much time off, dude. You could be doing this, that, and the other, right? Yeah. I mean, you, it takes time to improve. And um, a lot of people just want to compete constantly and constantly. And it's if you're not placing top five, top three consistently, you shouldn't be doing multiple national shows. And if you're not winning at regionals right. or, or getting your class at least, you probably shouldn't be doing nationals if you're not ready. Right. I found out, out the hard way, um, but, so I know. <laughs> but some people, you know, they're going to do what they want to do. But um, make sure you're ready to do nationals. Yeah. So listen, if you don't follow his Instagram, tell him your Instagram page. Yeah, so it's just at, at, at underscore James Anthony on Instagram. Because he's going to post some... Before and after picks, yeah. from the first time he was here till now, and when you see the difference, you're gonna just go crazy whenever you see this. Yeah, but at the same time, you also see the benefits of taking that three years off. What you can do. Um, I love competing. I love the NPC. I love being on stage. But I don't compete to not win. I compete right. to win. So I wanted to make sure after junior nationals when I got stomped, <laughs> I was like, I want to make sure that that never happens again. So I was like, I'll do whatever I have to do, take as much time as I have to take um, to make sure that I'm always competitive. So. Right. All right. So we're going to be watching out for you. I appreciate it. I yeah. mean, I'm going to be doing whatever I can, uh, you know, to get better mentally, physically in the next year to make sure that ne next time I go up on stage at Nationals for a qualifier, um, we can make something happen. Yeah. We're going to have to have you back somewhere in between and then for pre-contest too. So Heck we yeah. can follow your entire journey back yeah and like i said you know us, us pittsburgh kids north americans you know you know those shows like that we, we really take seriously and the npc pittsburgh was a big reason i came back i wanted to see it right and it was probably one of the best shows and npc pittsburgh shows i've seen in the last like decade it was right like, it was crazy yeah good all right so jm Mannion, james anthony we're signing up for npcnewsonline.com and don't call it a comeback